Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs from Cruise Passenger. This week marks one year since Cruise returned and what a year it's been. The industry's big wheels were at Luna Park for a celebration. It's been a record first season since the pandemic. As we report this week, tens of thousands have happily returned to their ocean holidays, but there have been big changes on board with increased prices and some services disappearing. Find out what's changed at cruisepassenger.com.au. Meanwhile, a cruise passenger survey shows Australia is set to return to its number one slot as the country with the most cruises per capita anywhere in the world, a title it held in 2019. And the next cruise season, beginning in September, we'll see some exciting new ships, including Virgin Voyages and Disney Cruises for the first time. Scenic has announced that the sister ship to Scenic Eclipse has passed its sea trials and is well on its way to its first sailing with passengers. Scenic Eclipse 2 has helicopters, submarines and Zodiacs for adventure, but also incredible luxury with butlers, 10 fine dining destinations, the spa and huge suites. The ship will sail out of Newcastle for Cairns in April next year with Glen Moroney, Scenic's owner, on board. She's offering itineraries in our incredibly popular Kimberley Coast. Want to win a $53,000 cruise in Tahiti with luxury line Penant? Better get your skates on, you've got just two weeks to do it. Cruisepassenger.com.au is running the stunning competition in partnership with Abercrombie and Kent. Go to the website and enter today. You could be cruising in utter luxury with flights included. For more news, deals and stories, go to cruisepassenger.com.au and follow us on YouTube. See you next week.